This function is super useful in Python when you want to iterate over the same data multiple times, but you're working with something like a generator that can only be consumed once. Let's say our intern was working on a logging system, and he created a generator function called ActivityStream. The goal of this function was to simulate a stream of user activity events, like logging in, uploading files, or logging out. Now, what this function does is, every time you iterate over it, it yields one event at a time. It's a generator, meaning it doesn't return a complete list. Instead, it gives one value at a time on demand. This makes it perfect for memory-efficient tasks, like processing real-time data or working with large files. Now, here was his actual task. He had to process each log entry in two different ways. First, save it to the database, and then send it to an alerting system for real-time monitoring. So, at first, he called the generator and stored it in a variable called logs. Then he wrote a for loop to process the logs and save them. So far, so good. This loop went through the generator and printed each log with the label saving, as expected. And then he wrote the for loop again to process the same logs again, but this time for the alert system. But as he ran the program, nothing happened. That's because generators in Python can only be used once. After they've been consumed, that's it. They don't reset like a list. So the second loop had nothing left to work with. At first, he thought, maybe I can just call the function again. But in real-world scenarios, the data might be coming from a live stream or an API that can't be replayed. So recalling the generator isn't always possible. That's when we showed him a better way, using the T function from the IDER tools module. Here's how he fixed the problem. So what this does is it creates two independent iterators, both based on the same original generator. T function internally buffers the values. So both logs one and logs two can read from the same source independently, even though the original data can only be consumed once. So then he used the first copy, logs one, for saving to the database, and the second copy, logs two, for sending to the alerting system. So as he ran the program this time, both loops worked exactly the way he wanted. So instead of rewriting the generator or storing all the values in a list, he simply duplicated the stream using the T function, which kept the code clean, memory efficient, and readable. A perfect solution when you need to replay the same stream of data multiple times.